Jeff has, if anything, <laughs> allowed me to do shit that I shouldn't have been able to do. Yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many drinks you got, Bobby? Yo, that nigga's oh, okay. every time he pulls Kool-Aid. up a different cup. A different cup. That nigga's trying to stay hydrated now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I'm in the garage. Yo. I got this little energy drink I stole from my wife. Y'all can't see it. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got no she's fan. She's going to talk shit if she see me with it. Huh? You ain't got no fan? Uh, I got to buy one. Probably when this podcast is over, I'm going straight to the Walmart. Yo, for real. You're, you're drinking the tropical one, right? Tropical. Oh, yeah. You saw it? No, I didn't see it. I drink those two. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's funny. <laughs> that shit good as hell. Yeah. Uh, Yo, let me take my, yeah. Let me take my do-rag off real quick. Oh, oh yeah, wave you're check. Only, check. You're only going to get busy. Yeah, Showing the same. waves. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm fucking double compressed out here. That's a new See, term I, I learned. Blair was one of them dudes You've that... you watching those on TikTok, the wave I checks? Have, I've been yeah. watching the wave checks. I watched two dudes specifically. Mostly it's uh, 360 Jeezy and this uh, other kid, uh, 360 Juice. 360 Jeezy seems like he's about my age and shit. But uh, I doubt it. Um, Blair was one of the dudes that what? he sat at the table. Like half of them were thugs, and a half of them was pretty boys. <laughs> Blair sat right in the middle. Yo, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Oh, you ready? Don't look at the back though. My, I need a haircut. <laughs> right, wow. get a to back. Ooh, you see me? Yeah. I can't see shit. You can't see it? I want to. I can't see no waves. Stupid. There's a they bunch. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, it looked it look like naps, but that might just Fuck be because here, nigga. this nigga's hating. <laughs> you gotta brush the edges. Yo, for real. <laughs> you gotta brush the edges. Yo, but that's from the do rag poking up, nigga. You see, he's just hating. That nigga sucks. Uh, I'm talking shit. He mad because he bald, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga got that LeBron Bron. You get I really waves? do. Who are you talking to? We're, we're podcasting, babe. Like this a pineapple? Yep. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You know, sorry about that. My wife, uh. She got mad. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? to? Are you doing your sex thing again in here? (laughs) You're sweating like you are. (laughs) My wife has the vid, so I got to be extra nice. You got to be extra nice, yeah. When she found that she had it, them coughs went up. Yo, they increased in in, in, in volume, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. You know, it's all good. She started calling right. and putting her chest in it. Ar, ar, that bark, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I guess it's my turn. Go, let's see what you got. Let's go, Bobby. Stupid. Uh, shit. <laughs> I hate y'all. Yo, so this is what I was going to talk about. So I've been, you know, watching all these videos because I'm like, man, I never had 360 waves. So I'm trying to get them. So, like, I learned all these little tricks, like the washing style. I never knew yeah. about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 360 is too pretty. Why? You know, that's too pretty. I'm I'm trying to get with it. That's who I, that's where I'm at right now. I'm I'm trying to dress you ain't, better. You ain't genuine, nigga. In my nigga. 40s, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be genuine. Yo, I'm trying to get them 360s right. So when you pull off, you're gonna be listening to Pony. Stupid. <laughs> Have you seen these white and Asian kids? With- that's what I was getting ready to say. Yep. Did you know, Bobby, that there are straight hair waivers? One, my kid is mixed, so those are, that's who he watches that's, to that's try to get waves. That's medium texture. That's different. Mixed kids got medium texture hair. You know what I'm saying? So are you talking like, about like super fine yeah, hair? Yeah, it's, it's still, it's not coarse. Like, like they got, so it's coarse hair waivers, right? Like me, I'm coarse hair. You know what I mean? Then they got medium texture waivers. That's your mixed kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's me. Yo, you know what I'm saying? It's stupid. You <laughs> medium texture? You're a coarse I, hair, nigga. No, I got nice textured hair. I, don't know uh, I got pretty nice textured hair Bobby's too, but dude. it's still it's still coarse. You know what I'm saying? B- Bobby's the dude. Oh, okay. I got Indian in my family. Yeah, exactly. If I grow it yeah, out. exactly. You know, because I got good it's hair. Some, I've but always I, heard that, but I would still consider it coarse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But there's medium texture, and then there's straight hair, like Kabaza. Kabaza could get waves if he wanted to. He'd have to put it. Kabaza has work, kind of thick hair, but he'd have, but he could get it waves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. all about the brushing. You know what I'm saying? These niggas got a whole science to this shit. You know what I'm saying? George could definitely get waves. George yeah. could get them. You know what I'm saying? It's just about brushing, putting on the do-rag. You know what I'm saying? And putting... So are, are, are these, these white guys... I mean, of course, anybody can get waves. Like, white yeah. guys can get, you know, curly hair. They can get... Yeah, because that's know, all they, it is. All, all waves are, they broke down the science, are curls that are laid down. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, I seen this white kid last night. I just... because. Uh, my wife, she was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, straight waivers. I was like, yes, they got straight hair. She's like, I would like to see the process. So I found this white kid just randomly, uh, just YouTube search straight waivers. And this white kid showed his his progress. Like, 
And he's got waves, but they're thick. They're yeah. mad thick waves. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's like a whole lot. And like, you know what he looks like from the 1940s or 20s? Yeah. When, you know how the women had the waves the in their hair? The finger waves and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the yeah. flappers. That's yeah, what they the were. Flappers. The flappers. Yes, that's yes. what they look like. You look like you got your great-great-grandma's hair. Yo, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm so, saying? I can be honest. I, I don't really like that. The straight hair waivers? Yeah, that's like another thing that that's they're trying to take away from us. That's stupid. Uh. <laughs> That's why I brought it up because I knew I was going to, one, I was like, I don't know if Bobby knows about this. And two, I was pretty sure you wouldn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess I don't care as much as at the age I'm at now, but I know in high school, but, if I saw a bunch of white dudes can yeah. try to like, I would just take it some type of way. Like, With their do-rags on and shit, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's, that's too much. Yo, and let me tell you, like uh, some of these kids though, the straight hair waivers, especially like some of the white kids, like if they're a certain complexion, you almost like second guess my dog. You th- thought you was black. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There was yeah. this one white kid. Uh, uh, this guy, 360 Jeezy, was cutting him up. And when he got done, like, if I saw that nigga in the street, I'd be like, yo, that's a black dude. Because he got waves. Mm-hmm. You know what like, I'm saying? He looked like Pete Davidson with waves. Yo. Pete yes, Davidson. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, their parents don't like it. I'm sure they don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they don't. You <laughs> know what I mean? I don't know how, how should I, how should I feel about that? Should I be like flattered? Like, okay, you know, it's okay, another well, thing we brought to the this. culture. Were you mad when you saw white kids? That had like the real edged up, like John B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and shit like that. Like that make you. Um, more- no, actually, truthfully, it made me more comfortable to talk to him. Like I would approach him. <laughs> Yo, because I because I got some partners, bro, that that are white dudes, but they're not typical white dudes, and they can't help where they grew up at and who they gravitated to. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, like a uh, fuck. Uh, but who get, who gets the best edge ups? Like I mean, black barbershops. Yeah. Probably give the best edges. I mean, yeah, I would agree. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it makes sense for anybody to go to the black barbershop. Yeah. For an edge up. Josh, <laughs> what, what, what barbershop you go to, Josh? Uh to this one, but I don't get edge ups anymore. No. I I get scissors. I get mm-hmm. I, I get scissors. I get scissored <laughs> and then I leave. It's nice. No, it's, it's this uh this old barbershop this uh, young Mexican kid bought mm-hmm. from this old man and he kept it the exact same, has the old nineteen fifties coke machine that doesn't work and oh wow yeah yeah and oh. so is it a dude that was a comic at one point no no he's not a no he's not a comic oh, okay uh, but i mean i just i found one near my house yeah they didn't fuck up my hair yeah but i feel That's like i'm at, at that age where i just i don't want to fuck up my hair you know what I'm yeah, yeah my bad got interrupted yo but i i i will say this black barbers take yeah. pride being able to cut like straight hair yeah like it, when they like yo my, my barber that i've had forever when he would cut my son's hair and he would do the fucking scissors over the comb yeah he would be mad proud of himself like yo look 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 tell everybody in the shop like look yo look i did that though right blah 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 because you know it's 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 not there what they're typically Clippers. cutting yeah yeah, yeah you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so being able to show like yo i got that skill too like i'm not just a i could be a hair stylist if i wanted to yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying you know what i mean so what are you saying? You, you like when they use the scissors and the clippers? No, nah, not for me. I'm just saying black barbers take pride in being able to cut straight hair. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, just I can see like that. barbers with straight hair that work in the black barber shop yeah. take mad pride being able to cut black Yo, people's hair. You know what I'm saying? I saw Best barber barbershop. in the city, in my opinion, is a, a Mexican dude named Mike. Yo, it's Mike. Yeah, Mike is nice. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you know Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, I, there, I went to Mike when, when Buggy was sick. You know what I'm saying? That's right. My like Mike goes hard. Where's Where's Mike working? Mike lives. Mike works off of FM seventy eight, like way down FM seventy eight, like right across from Judson. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like he's a, booked up every day, every day, bro, because he's the only barber in the shop. And even when they had multiple barbers, he's still fucking booked up like crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because he could cut though. I ain't gonna hold you. He can't cut. How Mexican, much? Is, how much does he charge? Uh, like regular, like fifteen, Probably like thirty. Right now, he charge like thirty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this inflation. This was my son was. In high school, still, he was like a fucking sophomore. You know what I'm saying? So this is like 2016, 2017. Yeah. You know How much you pay for your haircut these I days? Mean, shit, I ain't pay for a haircut in, in like a year and a uh-huh. half. You cut your own hair. My wife cuts it. You know ah, what I'm saying? Okay. And even when so, I started doing my waves, she was like, you're going to let me do that? I was like, yeah, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? How do y'all work that out? Like, is it like... Did she say no a lot? And then finally, like, all right, I'll do it. No, nah, she was down to do it. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like... When you want your haircut, you can you get your haircut on demand. Like, babe, cut my hair, or you kind of no, gotta I, mean, like, I, I gotta tell her like, hey, I'm, I want to get in my haircut tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You got a book. Okay. 
I do got a booker though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And okay. so fucking, as long as you let him know before. Yeah, exactly. All you, you know gotta do is let your neck hair get long enough to where it grosses them out. Yo, like, and what yo, she'll do let sometimes you is she'll want to cut my hair because I don't like getting my hair cut. I just don't mm. like how long it takes. I don't. I've never liked it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I hate going to the barber shop because I'm like, nigga, just cut my hair. Let me get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so my wife will offer. She's like, oh, you need a haircut? Let me cut your hair. You know what I'm saying? You want to mm-hmm. cut it right now? And I'm like, nah. It's more so me. She's yeah. really she's got to book me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes she'll throw it out there, and I'm like, <sighs> it sounds like she she likes it. I mean, she yeah, doesn't she mind does. it. She does like, like it. A, like I remember when she she got it's a form of intimacy. Yeah. And that's what I told her. She can never cut nobody else's hair. Because when she be edging me up, she be standing all in between my legs and fucking rubbing the back of my head. They're and both shit. butt naked yeah. and oils up, by the way. <laughs> that's why they're, That's why their clippers will never grow out. She just rubs oil on her skin and she's like, there we go. I already had it on me. Make it, make it work, baby. <laughs> Yo, Yo, you're just question. having sex. What Yo, because that's how it would be, though. She'd be edging me up, and I'd be grabbing her butt and shit while she's edging me up. You know what I'm saying? Damn, she gonna Why fuck is edge all fucked up? up? I don't care. I came so hard. <laughs> Sometimes, Jesus, it's a sacrifice. Yo. Speaking of intimate moments, I think I had the most intimate moment with my wife. Um, I went with her for her first Brazilian wax. Yo. Wow. Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't know how Brazilian wax is where I had no... Yeah. Knowledge that shit is crucial. It is crucial. My wife's done it a couple of times. I've never been in the room though, but she was. I mean, it, did she oh, let yeah. you do the first like rip from like taking it off? Like, go ahead, Bobby, <laughs> rip it off. <laughs> nah, like she was in so much pain. Like it was. Yeah, it was, it's crucial. But you know yeah, what? I, I didn't know it was like that. That's for you, buddy. Yo. <laughs> hey, after the results are dope. The nah, results are it. dope. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna hold you. Like I got in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was fucking Brazilian wax. I'm like, ooh, look at this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that I give a fuck. I don't give right. a shit, but it's different. It is different though. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah, it. And it don't grow back as fast. I like it. Mm-mm. I like it prickly. <laughs> Yo. Because that I feel like it's fighting back. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it's uh, trying to defend itself. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Yeah, I look crazy. Yo. Um, but yeah, man, uh, you you gonna watch? You, I guess you're not gonna watch the the versus battle tonight. Hell yeah, I'm watching that shit. What you mean, nigga? I feel insulted. I thought you, you was going to the uh, open mic. Nah, I'm going home. I gotta cut my grass. Damn, it's gonna be too late. No, nah, I'm good, <laughs> nigga. The sun don't go down till like nine o'clock. Yeah, it's Texas. Yeah. But you just cutting the front? Yeah, I'm just cutting the front. I ain't cutting. I, nah, nigga, I don't do. I'm I'm old, nigga. I ain't doing no front and back on the same day shit. <laughs> What you mean? Nigga, hell no. Nah. You got to see my backyard. My backyard is kind of hefty. You know what I'm saying? You got to move shit. Uh-huh. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck that. I cut one yard and then I wait. <laughs> I cut the other one. You know what I'm saying? Because right now my backyard, that's, that's... I could cut it, but it's okay. But my front yard is fucking, it, it needs, it, I got to, it needs some love. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, so you cut the front yard, you wait two weeks, cut the backyard. Yep. And then I cut the front <laughs> yard again, like two weeks after that. You know what I'm saying? Or, or I, I can't go like a week, but it's been raining. So it, Ends up being like fucking two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about the, the edge it? Oh yeah, I do it all. I get in there and fucking edge it up and fucking, you know what I'm saying? I edge up the curb, all that shit. You know. I, I, I mean? give my yard a nice Brazilian. Yo, <laughs> stupid. You rip all the grass out. <laughs> I, I was like, man, this shit worked too good. I gotta try. This. Yo. Um. What about the the bushes and shit? Um. I don't really got too many bushes in the front. You know what I'm saying? So like they're like, uh, cause where we moved into, the dude planted the bushes and shit. So they're not grown yet. I got like oh, okay. bushes that aren't aren't that high. You know, I just realized I don't even know where the hell you live at. That's yeah. Oh, you, you ain't been in my new crib. I haven't been invited. No. No. Oh, stupid. <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry, turn out there. You so sad. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't even know what side of town. You You could be my neighbor for all that. Get the fuck out of here. Now, I'm on the other side. I ain't gonna tell you on the podcast, but I got you. I hit you up. I let you know. All right. I I'm told sure you, you where I stayed before. You know what I'm saying. No, nah, I'll be sitting in you random places. Now you got to come to the crib. You got to wait like fucking three weeks, but you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. You know, yeah, I'll yeah, see I'm you not. next month, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got a quarantine. Yo. Oh, I got man. a fucking... Uh... Did you have it? Do you have it? No, I, I took my test. It was negative, but they were like... Um, we do it on three I, days. Th- yeah, yeah. I, I think even yeah. Blair can say that. Yeah, because my man, he got it. And then his wife tested negative, and then like a week later... She got it. When he started, like, feeling better, she got it. You know what I'm saying? Man, they're forcing us to get vaccinated, yo. I mean, not in Texas, but 
other places like New York, like I should, you can't get into restaurants. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, it's getting yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. And you like let a my lot man of tell it. That's uh, that's how they're going to fucking kill off people is because of the fucking vaccine. Uh, but, yeah. I don't want to get into the conspiracies what, of it. That's what COVID did though too. COVID already didn't hurt. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, and my man tell him like, oh, COVID's not real. It's not real. I'm like, get the fuck Yo, out of here. I've been hearing the craziest shit this past week. Stuff yeah. like COVID's not real. Yeah. Uh, Trump really was right. Everything that Trump did. A lot of people yeah. hit me with. Yeah. And, with, and, and, and the vaccine is, is to. Uh, Who you hanging out with, Bobby? Yo. People that I wouldn't expect to say that, like just with my friends. Same, same niggas I grew up with, bro. But my man, right? This is my boy, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, but if you know me, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. This is my fucking, my yeah. best friend, bro. Yeah. And this nigga is a hermit, though. He don't go nowhere. Mm. He don't go out the house. He just fucking sits in his room and fucking is all fucking conspiracy theory, bro. Like be telling me shit, like yo, if they take, they're gonna take me out, bro. Like, if you stop hearing from me, it's because they took me out. I'm like, nigga, nobody cares about you, dog. Like, you think the government is like, yo, we got to watch this nigga at his mama's house. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's, he's probably on a list, but they're not going to come pick him That's up. That's what I mean, stupid. <laughs> Just like, yeah. li- I bet you, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. They have listed everybody, and then on the other side, yeah. they have what their probability of they're going to do some shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm sure. Super low probability. Yeah, exactly. Leave super low probability. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, know. This I, I just look at it like, what, what can we really do? Like, we, like what can we really do? You move know, to Texas. You, you know move what I'm saying? Move to Texas. Yeah. And that's what they're saying about the vaccine, that it's going to take out uh, 70% of the population. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're pushing it. My, this is not, let me not say they, my man. My, this is my boy. My boy yeah, saying yeah. this shit. That that's why they're pushing to get to 70%. Because that's the plan is for 70 percent of the population to be taken out, you know what I'm saying, by 2025 or some shit like that. So that something's going to happen where the, the vaccine mutates in them? Or? I guess. And it's going to fucking thin the herd or whatever the fuck is. That's what but they what the saying. virus do that, too. That's what I said. The virus did that already. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point of the fucking vaccine? You know what I'm saying? Like if the virus is fake and man made. Right. Yeah. Then. That was to take people out. Then what's the point of the vaccine? You know what I'm saying? The vaccine is, this is how I would think if I was a conspiracy theorist. I would be like, the vaccine is to clear up the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this shit got a little out of hand. Yeah. We didn't realize it was going to go that wild. Let's dial it back. So we need to come up with something to fucking hopefully keep people alive. You know what I'm saying? I think they already had it. I don't, everybody's like, my conspiracy is not that it's going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. My conspiracy is that they already had the shit. They already had the shit. And Mm -hmm. they're like, damn, this Mm -hmm. is a lot of, this is like a lot of vaccine we got. Yo. It's, uh, you know what I mean? What if this got out? Exactly. Yeah. Like a profitable thing. You know? See, and that's that's what my man was saying too. He Which sent me some shit. People get mad at that too. That's equally as crazy. I'm like, yeah. yo, I didn't say the va- the thing's fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I look at everything that I look at with conspiracy mm-hmm. now is like, okay, where did the money go? True. That's what but, I look at now. But I have, I mean, I don't, I don't know anybody who paid for the vaccine. You know what I'm saying? They're getting paid for it. I mean, okay, I can see that. That's, like the no, companies the peop- are getting paid for it. Well, no, no, no. Pay for the no, test. No, I'm saying people are getting paid a hundred bucks or. The, there's one that was yeah. a, they were giving away Xboxes. They're like yeah. raffling shit. They were off. giving away fucking uh, was it Mets tickets? Somebody the Mets or the Yankees? Somebody was giving yeah. away tickets to fucking to get vaccinated. You what know I was what scared saying? was the comedy clubs were going to start because I know the comedy store did it. You have to be vaccinated and show your card. Oh wow! Uh, but see, my thing is with the whole like don't get it twisted. I'm vaccinated, so I'm not anti-vaccine. But the showing the card part, yeah, that card is not. Credit card size. It's big. It, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have to fucking get it laminated and keep it in my pocket and fucking... Well, what it's going to be is a thing on your phone. Okay, I can see that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's going to... That's, so, that's oh. the way they'll check you. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I heard they're going to put uh, put it on the microchip. Stupid. The microchip uh. that they're putting in your body in the, in the vaccine? I don't yep. give a fuck. All I do is fucking play video games and fuck, nigga. That's all they're going to see me do. Like, this nigga goes to work. He but the microchip's in your phone. Pipes his wife down. Exactly. So they, they don't want to put a free microchip in you when you'll pay for it. Exactly. Why do that? <laughs> it's a, Thank it, you. It's the, it's, it's the deep See, Kabaz is a logical conspiracy <laughs> theorist. I can fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? It's, and you know what's scary? Mm. Like, That's the most scary ones. Well, no, what's scary is that I got family members that are spouting off on fate, like some shit. And I'm yeah. just like... All right, just don't say nothing. Not because I'm embarrassed for you, but yeah. like 
if what you're saying is even remotely true, yeah. you're the one that's they're gonna come they're for. They're come for, yeah, yeah, Shut yeah. Shut the yeah. fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I don't have it in my head that I will defeat the deep state and I will no no. Yeah. If it's true, then these people have been doing this shit for centuries. Yeah. yeah. These families. Yeah. How am I gonna beat them? Exactly. I'm not. not. I just that's what I, that's what I'm saying. I wanna be informed. Yeah. So I know how I know to get it. the fuck out of the way. Yeah. And that's my thing, like, when people come in, they're like, oh, fucking Alexa or Google or whatever, they're listening to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got a phone, don't you? Your yeah. fucking phone is listening to you, don't you think that? You Your know what I'm saying? Your you car? Your oh, car? Yeah. yeah, if you got Bluetooth. OnStar. It started with OnStar. OnStar, yeah, yep. Yeah, everything is listening to you. And me, everything. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not fucking Pablo Escobar, nigga. I don't give a shit. Listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if I go down my Facebook feed, all I'm going to see is Brazilian wax, Brazilian wax, Brazilian wax. Yo, uh, let me tell you, that's all you're going to see. Like, I well, looked up fucking shoes, and I just kept seeing shoes on my, on YouTube even, on yeah. the fucking YouTube well, ads. if I have to go for a totalitarian government, I'm going to choose the American one instead of, like, let's say, the Chinese Communist Party. So that's my route of thinking now. So yeah. it's like, all right, who am I going to give my information to? I'll yeah. give it to Google. It's an yeah. American company. Exactly. But I'm not going to give it to TikTok. Not faith. Because all that shit goes to the... Communist Party. Oh. Yeah, every... They're like, no, it's ran by just a Chinese company. That's racist. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you can't just throw the word racist out. Exactly. When I'm talking about... Uh, so if you don't like North Korea, you're racist? Mm-hmm. No. No. Exactly. You don't exactly. like you don't like Iran, you're racist? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you don't like the leadership? Yeah, yeah. It's not saying you don't... It's just I don't saying, like Iranians. I, just, I don't like the yeah. government. The I don't commun- like their government. The, exactly. Yeah, the Communist Party. And every single company in China has to divulge all information to the communist party Mm. so they're building uh there's two ais competing two artificial intelligences Mm -hmm. and one of them's here in the united states and Mm -hmm. google and getting all that together Mm -hmm. and then in china they're doing their own and china's is way more uh advanced Mm -hmm. because there's no laws to prevent them from knowing every single thing about their population oh that makes sense yeah that makes sense and now they're gonna know all about europe Mm -hmm. because uh they uh got all the all the uh, towers, the five G towers, mm-hmm. are Huawei towers. I have and heard about that shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. all their shit, England and Europe, mm-hmm. and they were gonna try to get them out, but it would yeah. be too much money mm-hmm. to replace it with yeah, uh, yeah, their yeah, own five yeah. G. Yeah, yeah. Like, Fuck it. Here you go. Stupid. I <laughs> <laughs> get too deep for me. Yo, you get too deep. Yeah, it is yeah. deep though. You know what I'm saying? I know the Huawei shit because we stopped carrying those phones. Yeah. We used to carry them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was a big I used to sell thing. those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we stopped carrying them. You know what I mean? I think we said too many, too many. We're going to get banned for this episode. For real. I said 5G, Wuhan. We talked about the virus. Yeah, All yeah, within yeah. like six minutes. All within. Yeah. So this shit is going to get no no monetization, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> it's all good. It's freedom of speech, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, like so it. so these waves I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How do we go from waves to that? <laughs> For real. How do you know how we got there? But you know what I'm saying? It happens. Did you still want to talk about the baby or not? Um, I mean, we can talk about the baby. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about fucking verses. That's how we were getting ready to get on. And I don't know how we got sidetracked, but because I was offended that oh, but you said because I was gonna cut my grass. That's right. And yeah, that's yeah. how we got sidetracked. Now I, th- I thought you were saying like I wasn't a fan. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. The locks and dip said I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I, I yeah. thought you was gonna open mic, but nah, 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 nah. I'm going to the crib. I'm gonna cut my grass and I'm gonna throw that shit on and listen to it in my ear. Cause it's about to come on. It come on at seven. Our yeah, time. yeah. No, no, eight o'clock. Uh, my bad. Eight o'clock our time. Okay. It's, it's nine o'clock Eastern. I think what makes it dope is uh I think during our our uh, we was probably in our twenties. That was like the hardest shit out um, from the East Coast. Yeah, I would say that in that like kind of coming out of high school, early twenties. You know what I'm saying? Was the the locks fucking dipset? They was all running shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, Texas heads would feel like it's too East Coast. Um, I thought. I think so. I could see that, but uh, I still think it's fucking dope. I think. You got to be a hip hop head, you know what I'm saying, to appreciate right. it. You know what I'm saying, just like hip hop so heads from the East Coast appreciate the South shit. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, but they so got bigger when uh, Jules Santana did that mixtape with with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, that's I when I feel my face. Yeah. That's when mm-hmm. I started listening to. Yeah, yeah, and see, like Jim Jones' last couple albums, I don't know if he's gonna play anything off of those because he hadn't had like a big hit, like a radio hit. For that's what I'm saying, off yeah. of that shit. But uh, Jim Jones' last couple albums have been fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? Jim Jones has become the best out of yeah, Dipset. He, like he started yeah. off as like the worst, worst, the worst, worst one. Man. Yeah, it was like it because it kind of they all kind of had their time in the sun because it was initially it was Cam, 
You was right. like Cam, Jules, Jim Jones, right? Mm-hmm. Then it went to it was Jules, Cam, Jim Jones was last still. And now I would agree, Jim Jones is the fucking the best one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, who you like? I mean, who you who do you prefer in a, in a battle? I don't know, man. It's tough because I think the locks got more ammunition because they got all the songs with they got songs with DMX, they got mm-hmm. songs with Big. You know what I'm saying? More True. than Dipset would have at their disposal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Songs with Jay, like you know what I'm saying, and then they could play solo shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I I compare it to like Jada Kiss and Fab. Like I thought Fab was gonna kill him with like hits. Yeah, yeah. But Jada Kiss actually flipped it and killed him with like hard ass bangers, street yeah, bangers, bangers, and, that, and his own bangers, and then features. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's the thing you got to take advantage on that versus shit because it's whatever you had your hands in. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you rapped on the song and the song went fucking, you know what I mean? Then that's you on there. You know what I'm saying? I go Dipset because I think they're going to kill him from, with uh, swag and performance. Just, you know, they just a swaggy ass niggas. True, 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 true. And that's what I think because Dipset has club bangers, but the locks has street shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like Cam's going to say a bunch of funny, slick shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even though Jada Kiss, he can, you know, he can hold his own. Jada Kiss can hold his own talking slick shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But- and then, like, I mean, come on, dog. Because they could play the Benjamins. They could play fucking 24 Hours to Live. Uh, they mm-hmm. could Money, Power, and Respect. You know what I'm saying? They play that shit. That's, you know what I mean? That's one of them ones. You know what I mean? But for groups like that, don't they got to play the whole song? Well, you can't play part of a song. You got three members in the group that got all, they all got verses. How are you going to do that? They just going to. They're going to play the banging part, probably. You know what I'm saying? The part uh-huh. people remember, you know? So that way, because if not, that shit going to be fucking 16 hours saying. long and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, how they going to figure that out? There's three but, people on the song. But you're going from the three people in the group. So I'm sure they're going to have their time to shine. They're going to pay Styles P's fucking solo song or Jada Kiss's solos. You know what I'm saying? Sheik Luch ain't got a whole lot of solos I can remember. But everybody you know hating saying? on Sheik. Like, why is Sheik even showing up? You stupid. <laughs> Stay at home, dog. You Yo, stay at home on this one. Let me tell you, though, because like they could play that band from TV song because mm-hmm. to me, Styles and Jada got one of the best verses on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I think, hey, and that was one of my prediction. They're going to start. They're going to start off with that. They're going to open it up with that. I can see that. I can see that. And that was one of the first times I heard them where they do that interchange and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't you know? know too many people that did that before. Them. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nigga, um, I don't know how much time we've been on, but you know what's happening to the baby, right? I do. I saw a little bit about it. I haven't seen the actual comment, but this I nigga is it. This nigga's canceled. Yeah, yeah. He's getting canceled. What did he say? You didn't hear about it? I saw that he got taken off of... Uh, uh, Everything. Oh, okay. Really? He got taken off of like... It's like six, seven festivals that they, oh, they the got festivals. rid of. Him. I was like, I thought you talked about... Yeah, like, I know he got pulled like off festival, apps. but what do you say? Uh, I haven't he was, seen the clip, but I know it was homophobic. He was talking about. Uh, I don't know if you can pull it up. Talking about weird old gay niggas sucking dick in the parking lot it was basically kind of part of it. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Pull that was it up the, over the there. gist of no, it. I, the computer's right oh, there. Oh, the computer's right here. Yeah. Oh, that was the gist of it. Basically, I can't pull saying it up. don't be niggas don't be sucking dick in the parking lot or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I don't know if you watch uh, Ryan Davis. Uh, I know who he is. Ryan Davis grew on me like a motherfucker. I was not a fan. Um, he was a comic before that. Yes, and you can tell he does stand up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because uh, fucking, uh, I would see his shit on YouTube, and he does like the little side by side, and he talks shit. But yeah. that nigga's funny. Like, yeah, yeah. is he? Yo, Ryan Davis is the best person of that side by side, like showing really? a clip or showing a picture, and I'm talking my shit about it. He's yeah. the best one. Yeah, that nigga's okay. hilarious. Oh, you all know right. Give me one, give me one second. I'll be right back. You good? Uh, fuck. What are you saying? I'm trying yeah. to find it. Yeah. Was it? Uh, so so two dudes. He saw two dudes sucking dick in the no, parking lot. No, he was he was just referencing like. Something about people listening to his music and being—if I play it, you can't cut it out, right? Because it's on my end. 
You just uh, like completely cut me out. No, I can cut it out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I can. Well, see. I mean, if you talk, then not, no. You know what I mean? got you. Trying to download the fucking ads playing. That was my eye. Right. We still on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm He's trying to find it. I'm pulling up this fucking comment. Pull it up. Ooh, just had to go smash real quick. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was real quick. Was super quick. <laughs> I do it. Because this H39. is from Hip Hop DX. In and out. Uh, yeah, I got I to go get my wife some pineapples. She's throwing a fit. Oh, I got you. We're almost done. That's what he said. Uh, and then his his apology was talking about like uh, who he was talking to. I wasn't talking to gay people I, or like my fans that are gay. I was talking to the weirdo gay niggas. <laughs> like it was, it was you know what? Niggas. That made complete sense in his head. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. In his head. Exactly. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And he Yo, just, they, they are tearing his ass up. I know they are. I know they are, bro. Did like, he mean flamboyant? Is that what he I'm have? sure. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the niggas who would suck a dick in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, you can be hard as fuck and still suck a true. dick in the parking lot. Download niggas. That's how they do. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to see and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he's talking about. I think he's talking about like download dudes, stuff like right. that. You know what I'm saying? Prefers the flamboyant thing. Yes. Like that's me. I got a whole joke about that shit. Yeah. I prefer. I'd rather know. You know what I'm saying? But he's getting canceled by everything, yeah, and yeah. it's more. I don't think they really care about what he said. They, no. they're like, it's more of just the outrage it's the, the social media is caused. It's, it's the culture that we're in right now. It's the cancel culture. It's a real thing. You know. So what, what do you do? Do you lean into it? Um, I think you just chill and let it blow over, and people will forget about it. There'll be somebody else in a minute. Look at Kevin Hart shit. Kevin Hart shit is. Nobody even brings that up no more. You know what I'm saying? Nobody oh, yeah. even thinks about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is different. What did Kevin Hart do again? Kevin Hart yeah. was a, he had a tweet or a, a from joke. like 2014 yeah. or 12. You know what I'm saying? That he that was it, talking about he would hit his son with a if his son was gay. Yeah, would, if he saw him playing with a Barbie house, he would grab the Barbie house and mm -hmm. hit him over the head with and it. And no, that's gay. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean? I'm sure behind the scenes, Kevin Hart probably had to donate like a bunch of money to him, do some some type of Charity I'm, stuff, yeah, but I'm, I don't know if you ever watched uh, "Don't Fuck This Up." Is that his his little documentary? He he yeah, talks yeah, about it. that. You know what I'm saying? And it was dope. I think he's, he got to a point where he was like, "I'm tired of apologizing. Yeah, I apologize mm -hmm. already. I'm done." You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then that got taken sideways. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, Bernie Mac. Did you hear Bernie Mac? Mm -mm. Where he talks about his nephew? Yeah, on the on the on the uh, yeah. on, on the King's, King's Comedy. Comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, my, that's like my favorite bit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Was, don't no little don't no little boy walk all like this here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Ernie probably would have been been canceled for that joke. I mean now, but that shit is so, and that's the thing, is that's so funny. You know what I'm saying? Cause it is, and it's you know, real. He walked past me and he turned around, I'm going to get some milk and cookies. Yeah. He said it's so funny, I had to ask him again. Mm -hmm. What I said, what'd you say? He said, going to get some milk and cookies. Yeah. <laughs> boy, if you'll take your little faggot ass on him. <laughs> You definitely couldn't say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but how can you get it mad at a guy who adopted the kids? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you can't call your adopted son a faggot. They're taking it out of context. It's his son, bro. He can say whatever he wants to. You know what I'm saying? I call my son gay all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck if he is or not. You know what I'm saying? Like no, you, and, you can't do that in the public. And it's a and it's a quote from Hangover. That's and it just stays. It's stuck. It's stuck in our house, bro. Like my son when he when he fucking leaves the room, he's like, "So long, gay boys." He says it all the time. <laughs> like you know what I mean? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. And it's from Hangover. I say it too. I say it to them all the time. I'm like, "So long, gay boy," and I walk out his room. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> is it? Is it uh, would you still do your flamboyant gay joke uh, on stage? Yes. Okay. I think if you take that wrong, that's not on me. That's on you. Because to me, the joke is, is it's not being homophobic. You know what I'm saying? It's almost celebrating gay people. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm saying I like flamboyant gay dudes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know yeah, I guess, I, mean? it, I guess it's not too bad. You know, I, and if people take it wrong, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's a joke. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> To myself, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, give, yeah. just give hand jobs after the show. Stupid. Just here you go, buddy. You happy now? Like I have that transgenerational joke. Yeah. And that shit is hilarious, but I could see people taking it sideways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like in the wrong crowd, people are like, oh, you're trying to make fun of transgender. No, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm saying they got right. the right to choose, and so do I. You know what I'm saying? I have to I'm tell agreeing. Cliff. I have to tell Cliff to stop doing a joke because mm-hmm. um, it was it. And, and this time it's, it's too offensive, and it wasn't super funny either. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, the, that's what makes it more offensive that it's not. Funny. That it's not funny. <laughs> it has exactly. to be funny. It has to be funny. If, if it's, it's gonna funny, be that fucked up. Yeah, if it's fucked up, it's got to be funny. That's yeah. the, that's the biggest thing about it is that you can do it. You just better make it funny. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. if it's not funny, then it just seems like you're saying shit just to say shit. I've heard way worse jokes than that have gotten mm-hmm. no publicity at yeah. all. Yeah, but they were just hilarious. Exactly. Like exactly. it's just like oh, okay, well we yeah. can't fuck with that one. Exactly. But if it's if it's mediocre, yeah, they're then gonna fucking you're tear gonna it up. kill you for but, it. Yep. But is it hilarious because of the shock? Like, hey, I can't believe he said that, or is no. it really no, hilarious? It's, no, it's it, it's the cleverness of the joke. Yeah. I think that makes it funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to toot my own horn, but that transgenerational joke, it's clever. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think that's why I don't think people. Fuck with me about it. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm some famous comic, but I hadn't had nobody come up like, yeah, I can't say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not offensive, I don't think. I don't think yeah, so either. Offensive. I don't think so either. You know what I'm saying? I, yes. But but people can take it the wrong it's way. It's context. You can say those words, but mm-hmm. it's in mm-hmm. what what context. And exactly. I think the other thing, the tone. <laughs> tone. You know, tone is is everything. Because if I go up go up to somebody and be like, Oh, you're so smart versus, oh, you're so smart. Exactly. It's totally different. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or they're it's like, like Kim Curly. Or they're Yo. like, oh, <laughs> your dick is huge. Yes, and I'm like, exactly. it is. Thank you. I mm-hmm. appreciate it. Exactly. It's all about the tone. It's not about what you say. It's how you say it. Actually, in that one, I never hear tone. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear quotes. I just hear quotes. I just hear the line. No, no, no. She said my dick was huge. <laughs> <laughs> biggest she's ever seen. She even put it in quotations. <laughs> exactly. She's like, the biggest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> I want to make that a clip now because he looked right into the camera. I was like, the biggest dick I've ever seen. Do it. You got to do it. Yo, that's fucking funny. On the next episode, of, like as a, as a trailer, you know yeah, what I mean? The biggest hey, dick I've, I've ever seen. seen. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Josh. Yeah. I do have to ask you, uh, when you made the thumbnail for the last uh, YouTube. Yeah. Did you put a little extra like time and thought into it? Because no. you don't want him to look fat. No, I just it, it looked good. It, it might have been the best one. It was like a, a lot you, of compliments. When I watched when I watched the episode, I do yeah. I did see what you were saying about when it's smaller. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's uh-huh. smaller, your shirt and the chair kind of blends in, so it makes it look uh-huh. weird. You know what I'm saying? But when you got yeah. it blown up, it it doesn't look weird. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see the difference where you end and the chair starts and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I look at all that stuff. Josh, Josh apparently doesn't. <laughs> I think he tries to find the one where we look the most jolly. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, if you're smiling, okay. yeah, laughing, yeah. having a good time. Exactly. I mean, if you're making a weird face, so be it. But I'm not like, which one does Bobby look super hot? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like weird face. Yo. Well, then all I mean, your faces just be Bobby just... Emotionless, <laughs> just Yo, no smile. That, exactly. See, I'm. A, I'd rather I'm a, that than I'm a weird, weird face, face nigga, So I don't mind that shit. I make faces and shit at the crib all the time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody, listens to this podcast. Please make fun of all the fucking Yo, thumbnails the with thumbnails Bobby. Of Bobby. What would you think of him? Yo, because I technically, I, um, I still have an insecurity. I don't like the way I look when I laugh, so I'm still getting over that. So that's what it is. Wait, I think. Really? Yeah, that's why. I like, I, sometimes I look uncomfortable when I like. That's how I've learned to not. People think I don't laugh at my own jokes, or you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm uncomfortable at my own laugh. That's funny. See, I don't laugh at my own shit because I remember fucking uh, uh, Billy D. Washington told me that shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, don't laugh at your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know I mean? And I How do, do you feel, feel about like, that? I don't know if that's real. I don't think that makes a difference. I mean, I don't know if it makes a difference either, but I also, I don't do it. Sometimes I do crack myself up. I ain't going to hold you. Like, when I'm on stage and I say something off the top of my head, I do crack myself up. But I try not to laugh at my own shit. If it's genuine. Mm. If it, I only laugh when it's genuine. I try not okay. to. There's some people where the Ooh. laugh is part of the bit. Part of the bit, yes. Mm. Exactly. And it makes it seem like it's, you know what I mean? I laugh. I've had some it. people say that uh, it helps. And I have some people to say that, like what you're saying with Billy D. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I've heard some people where it's just like, I'm like, are you are you just nervous laughing? Yes, exactly. That's you know what, what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your, your team don't laugh at your own jokes? If it's genuine. If it's genuine. That's oh. where I'm at, too. I'm in the middle. I'm 50. And that's how I am with crowd work, too. I don't like crowd work unless it's genuine. 
You know what I'm saying? Like Cedric, that's part of his his character. Just you but know, I, I think he finds himself funny though. He and he cracks himself up. I, it, Cedric comes off well, genuine. I don't know. It can't be genuine if you've done this joke in fifty different cities and you know what you like. You it can't be that funny to nah, you. This I time. don't know, man, because I've I've seen certain comics a million times and they do the same joke, but they do that certain joke. It just hits for me every time. Well, you know also they're the laugh talkers where they're just happy to be talking and cool with you. So they like they when they're talking to you, they laugh as well. So if that's mm. part of your natural cadence, then that mm. also makes sense. Yeah, but, I mean we've all have seen those comics where it's it's not it's more of a tick. Yeah, the the laughter is more of a tick. Mm-hmm. So it's just like ooh, it's the same people that they go um between jokes. Yeah, yeah. Or, I had to learn how to not do that shit, and I also had to cut out. You know what I'm saying? On stage, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's just natural. And uh, yo, yeah. when I first started, that was a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything was like, you know, I said it all uh, the time. Mine was my I got this tape of you from That's when funny. you first, your first year of comedy at the open mic. Yo. Uh, I don't know who recorded it. I don't know how I found this. I Jay. bought an old, old camera. Yeah. I really wonder whose camera this was. Because they had, they recorded everybody at the open mic. I, I randomly found this shit. It was Jade. Uh, Jade. Esteban Estrada? Ooh. Yeah, it was Jade. Jade. He was recording people? <laughs> okay. The way he I mean, said that, it to the that explains the bow of feathers that was in that shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it was Jade. Uh, she, he he was ho- hosting over Mike, and yeah. I think he was recording mm-hmm. everybody. Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. I think he put those on YouTube. But I yeah. found like a I bought an old camera and it had a tape in it. It had Blair on that hoe, huh. and it had like other uh, comics. And I, I know it was uh, Blair's first year because he was he was kind of skinny. Yeah. Yo, I was bad then when I first started. Yeah, so but um. Home. Yo, mad then. I like how Bob. You probably don't even want to see that shit. But. I don't. I hate my old self. I have clips of my old self. And when I watch it, dog, it's sad, bro. I'll be like, slow down. Yeah. That's like the biggest thing. I'm like, yo, you're talking way too fucking fast. Slow down. <laughs> Stop laughing at yourself. You're not that funny. Oh, yeah. You laughed. You know what I'm saying? Laugh. Exactly. Talking about laughing? You were. You, yeah. You had the giggles, nigga. Yo, because I was it nerves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And it, And I would, you know. And that's what I would be like, yo, you're laughing way too much at yourself. You're not that fucking funny. Stop laughing at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And talking mad fast, bro. Like mad fast. You know but what you, I'm saying? But you did look like you were having fun. I was. I was. I, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I just was fucking, you know, like I say, you got to find your fucking niche and find your, your voice. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like, won't you be my nigger? Mm. <laughs> what? Gross. <laughs> Gross. Especially when you're saying like Mr. Rogers and shit. Yo, that, that shit be was a nigger? banger though, you know that what I'm saying? Now, yo, you never heard that bit? You never heard the cupcake bit? You never heard the cupcake bit? I thought bit? Bobby said that just right now. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that was, that was a joke. That was my joke. My joke was like, uh. Uh, fuck! How does I got to can't even think? How said, to uh, I remember you having a cupcake bit, but I remember how. It and went. that's the cupcake bit is is it's talking about, uh, fucking um, white people calling you uh, saying the n word. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you know what I mean. They because uh, sure. white people ask you. I said white. Oh, white people are racist on the cool. That's what the joke was about. White people racist on the cool. Yeah, because white people will come up to you and they're like, Blair, if I called you a nigger, would that offend you? And I'm like. Yeah, it would, but not if you say it like all nice and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You say it not if you say it like Mr. Rogers and shit. Yeah. Like, won't you be my nigger? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like racism with a cupcake. Yeah. It's like they handed you a cupcake, but they yeah. wrote a nigger on it. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. It's like I'm gonna be mad, but I'm gonna eat the fucking cupcake. You know what I'm saying? And that's did, the that was. The did bit. Bobby just leave his hat? That's what it looked like, right? Oh. Like, his hat, like his hat was just floating. <laughs> 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 he was just like, if I just leave this hat here. <laughs> it won't, no, Man. All right, so yeah, I'm actually going to have to drop off. I got to go make a run. No, nah, you All good, right. you good. All right, bro, we good, we done. So, uh, Something right. for the People podcast, uh, Blair Thompson, 11, Bobby. Uh, yeah, some, I mean, yeah, something for the people. Uh, wife, you know, fresh in the nigga. She needs we'll some, pineapple. some pineapple juice, nigga. She got the vid. You got to take care of her. Yeah, you know yeah. so you know how it goes. Love y'all. Yeah, you're better, man. So, uh, yeah, feel better, dog. <laughs> All right. All right, bro. Something for the people, man. It's a little something, something.